as the K. We're at Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City. Tonight, a matchup of teams at opposite ends of the division between the Detroit Tigers and the Kansas City Royals. And now, your 2024 We've got baseball on the Kansas show, City and it's coming up Royals. next. Donnie Bobo gets the ball for the Royals in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this guy is one of the better pitchers in the league, and one stat that jumps out, take a look at that strikeout-to-walk ratio. That's about as good as it gets. And look for him to dominate in this one. Now at the plate, here is John Rose. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Royals as they enter play here tonight. They come into this one off a loss that finally snapped what was a long, long winning streak. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants it. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused and playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. So a moment now to take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Detroit Tigers. Nero, give us what you have on this lineup as they start a new series. Yeah, Maddie, this lineup likes to run the bases. They like to run them aggressively. Stolen bases are not out of the equation. Taking the extra bag, putting the defense on blast right here. The key for this offense is getting guys on base to create havoc. First offering on its way. Jake Cronenworth is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. and And it's fouled away. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Just underway here in Kansas City. High in the air into shallow left center. Buxton is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. All set for the start of the inning and set to go is the veteran first baseman Renato Nunez. No balls in one strike. Here comes the 0-1. Fouled away. Count remains at 0-2. Popped up. Dozier has room in foul territory. Makes the play one away. Now into the box. Johan Mieses comes in after a day of rest yesterday. So we'll see if it did him any good. Strike one to start the at bat. Comes set and the 0-1. That's not an easy pitch to do anything with, right? 96 miles an hour in on the hands. You almost have to be looking for that pitch to be able to do anything with that. Pitch is popped up. Dozier shading to his right. He's got it, and there are two down now. So two out, nobody on. And digging in That's next it. is Daz Cameron. Here's a two-seamer inside to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and oh. And he fouls this one off. A ball and two strikes now. One and two. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front ball. foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. No score here as we play inning number two. Got him swinging and that's the third out. Three up, three down for Detroit. So here is Brock Detheridge, 7 8 9, bottom of the order, set to go here in the third. Cut fastball in there for a called strike. Just got the corner that time with a fastball strike, too. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Oh, and the slurve is over for strike three called, one gone. So with one away, let's give you a look at the standings in the American League's Central Division as you see where these two teams find themselves entering our ballgame here today. Bryce Terang comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Man, this pitcher is on right now. 
pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. And now pitch on the way. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here. And there are two away. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Anthony Seedler. Third inning, no score to this point. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Down 0 2 to a guy with this much weaponry. Five. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Tigers. Home half of the third coming up. No. Ball set for the hey, start of the fourth, right and that'll give way to the third baseman, the third John base. Rose. John. Fouled off. Rose. Now the 0 1. Hit down the third baseline. Bryant's got it. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Next for the Tigers, Nicky Montano. He's set and the pitch. Outside with that slurb of his one ball, no strikes. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth one inning. Nine. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to look. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. Second and it's fouled Two. away. Two down. Two down. Now the pitch. One and one. Pulled toward right center field. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Three up, three down for Detroit. On to the bottom of the. All go, ready right to go in the top of the fifth. And digging in next at the plate will be Renato Nunez. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. A good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Johan Mieses is on deck. Got him. The slurve that time, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat, and that he pushed the count to three and two and made the pitcher work. But I think he'd like to have that three two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went out. On to first, and there were two down. Next to stand in is Daz Cameron. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. A high fastball is in there. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. And this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. That will have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Down in order go the Tigers. Halfway home, still no score. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Brock Detheridge. One and O oh the count. Good fastball down around the knees there taken for a strike. One and two as the changeup had him out in front there. Still a ball and two strikes. And now pitch on the way. That misses and we're even at two and two. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Next up for Detroit, Bryce Terang struck oh, out in his first bad. at bat. Yeah, kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one, and we'll see. If he tries to cheat to something this evening. Tapped up the third base line. No runs, no hits, and no errors in the ball game for the Tigers. Tigers shortstop with a ball and two strikes. Ball two. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him.
Into the box now, Anthony Siegler, as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. And it's one and one. The one one. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Lopez puts it away to retire the side. Three up, three down. Seventh inning ready to roll. And standing in is the rookie third baseman, John Rose. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Well, obviously somebody was hooting with the Owls last night. This entire roster, they've showed up for the first game of this road trip and are getting absolutely boat raced. And it's quickly 0-2. Here it comes. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. Bryant with the bare hand. It's there. He got him. So the next to bat will be Nicky Montano. Grounded out in his last at bat. A ball and no strikes. Bases are empty. One man out. Slurred. Swung on and missed there. It's one and one. You know, it's funny right there. You look at that pitch, and it's almost a hybrid in between a big-time old-school curveball and a nasty slider that goes off the fastball. That's kind of right in the middle right there, kind of working off the clock, that 3-8, to eight, if you can picture that in your head. Tough pitch to lay off of. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Nicky Montano is the second out in the seventh inning. First pitch on the way. Jeff is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing and one. Hey, he's been able to pound that zone all night, working that outer half of the plate. That's why he's having so much success. And he struck him out to retire the side, so he's through seven complete, still working on a masterpiece. Seven perfect innings as he begins to close in now. Getting late, stretch time now. In and here's Renato Nunez. Always a tall task trying to rally back in the late innings, but I think this game could still turn quickly. A leadoff runner on base right here could be huge to get something going. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. And he struck him out for the first out of the inning, but perhaps more importantly, he's five out of the I think we're starting to see the frustration mount from this offense. It's been a pretty dominant performance on the mound, and these hitters have had no answer for anything he's throwing up there. That will wear on you if it lasts throughout most of the game, like it has here. Right Into the box, yeah. Johan Miesic. Oh, and won the count. Now here it comes. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Fouled away. The next 0 2 sent in the air out to straightaway center. And this is taken in easily, and just like that, two are gone to start the eighth inning. Well, a huge out number two here at the eighth. Four outs remain, but the finish okay. line is starting to come into focus now. Daz Cameron stands in as he looks at ball one here. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss. Good sinking action there. One and two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The next one two pitch. Brock Detheridge would be next. So that's eight perfect yes. the fans can feel it now as the side is retired. Yo, so he makes he it gave me that spot. With the perfecto still intact. Right. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. Here we go. It's the Royals three and the Tigers nothing. And now in the box, Brock Detheridge. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Detheridge. Round ball right side. Dozier scoops it up, and he'll take this to the bag himself. One gone here in the ninth. 
Now at the plate is Rice Terrain. No hits to this point. Hit on the ground is short. Fielding cleanly. Throw on the first to be in time, and now the Tigers are down to their final out. Next to dig in, Anthony Siegler. He represents the 27th and many hope final batter in this masterful performance. In there, strike one. Two out, nobody on. Take a called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. And now the crowd right around 25,000 strong comes to their feet. One and two to the Tigers catcher. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Fouled off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Last breath for the Tigers. And it's fouled away. Last out always the worst, so. And he ah, fouls this one off. Looking for the complete game. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ground ball. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Here's the game. He's done it a perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains. All right, I'm going to post this one for sure. It's out here in this one. 27 up, 27 down, and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports, and I'm just excited I was here to be a part of it. Perfection is always beautiful. 